Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday, currently 10, 20 in the morning. As you can see by the background on the car, we have the pot belly order here, which is awesome. So that should start us up with about $40. Uh, and then after this, we have a deliver order that we're gonna run back into Fairfax for, coming back into the hospital here, uh, technically still in Fairfax, but it, it makes sense, it makes sense. So basically, we're gonna start out the day with about 70 bucks in catering in theory you know what i mean so i'm gonna go ahead and get this order dropped off from pot belly take my butt over to payway i get that picked up and then come over here and have a great day it's gonna be kind of hot today it's gonna be in the 80s which is way too hot for my liking but you know it is what it is kind of thing so yeah anyways hopefully you guys had a good weekend we had a solid saturday i think that video is already out and then um you know the whole car battery thing the car's been working great so it must have been the battery um, but yeah it was time anyways so now we have peace of mind for at least three to five years ideally so yeah anyways let me get this dropped off we'll see you guys in a few okay guys we're leaving the school now you know what's crazy about not crazy but interesting every single day of the week they get something different so i wonder what they get the rest of the week you know so they get they get pot belly on tuesdays uh, which, by the way, we got the two Andrew Jacksons right Perfect. here. You know what I mean? Two Andrew Jacksons. And um, the check that's going to go back to the, to the school, to the pot belly in a little bit. But yeah, so we're heading right now towards Payway. We got about a 15-minute drive. We'll see you guys there. Let's go. Guys, here we are at Payway. Now, we are a little bit early, though. But last time when I was here, the food was ready early anyways. Now... Payway is kind of like Panda Express. So I'll put them in the same realm of food and pricing. So let's see if it's ready. Let's see. Let's hope. Let's hope. If not, we'll just wait for it. What we do? I think it's ready. I think it's been ready. But now I don't see a single soil in here that can help me. Let's see. They got drinks this time. Oh, they got lemonade. Gonna double check that we have the right order and then we're gonna go ahead and keep it going. Get up a uh, easy cater order. Hello. Hello. Okay, gracias. Alright, guys, it's a lot of stuff. We gotta take a couple of trips. Okay, hey guys, guys, we are leaving the payway, leaving three minutes late, technically, even though we were like six minutes early. It took a while for me to find somebody that was actually there, not like in the kitchen. Um, but yeah, food was ready. Well, kind of. I only waited for one bag. Uh, but now we have three catering bags full of stuff. They have drinks, which kind of sucks. I just hate like the gallon bag, you know, like those gallons that come in bags. I don't like it. I'm not a fan usually leak although this one is not leaking so that's, that's also a good thing we're only five minutes away here from this hospital so that's also a great thing um and we're gonna be a little bit early but that's okay it's gonna take me a while to find parking and set up so i'm not really gonna be that early to be honest but so far smooth smooth day with the pot belly with this payway we get a safety line out for tomorrow so so far so good I think if I can line up two caterings a day, that's gonna guarantee me success. You know what I mean? And because it's gonna be kind of slow, I already know. So we're gonna stay out till about 1, 1 30, go home, come back out. You guys know the deal. But yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys at the hospital. Let's go.
we're at the drop off location we're using the card and I'm just, I'm just carrying the other one because the uh, the drinks are going to sag on one side and I don't want it to drag so let's see here the card should be okay where it's at and we're at 305 Hello, I got some food for you guys. Uh, yeah, if yeah. you don't mind going down into the hall, I'll okay. go open the door. Okay, perfect. Down to the right. Thank you. So we've done the hall. It's gotta be here somewhere. It's gotta be this door. Uh, thank you so much. No problem, and it's gonna be first door to your right. Perfect. I guess it's like a big break room. I've seen some small break rooms. Oh, really? Yeah, for like offices. Yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. <laughs> for sure. Just set it up in this big table right here, or uh, which just one? Just in the middle. The middle? Yeah. All right, perfect. Yeah. Feel good today. <laughs> yeah. Here are the drinks, and I'll maybe put those in the fridge if you want to. Perfect. You know, Thank eat. you. Yeah, I guess. Lady just put this with the tightest grip to uh I've just started cutting them at this point. Yeah. There's scissors back there if you want to use oh, okay. them. Okay, yeah, it'll be a lot easier. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for helping me out. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh my God, They do a lot of catering over there. Yeah. A lot of people get them for sure. And we got your fortune cookies, some cups, and um, like plates and stuff. So, you know, fortune cookies are a must. For sure, for sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Just got to take a quick picture and then. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. We got the order dropped off. We're back in rest. We still got to go to the pot belly and get in the check. But but this order came through here from Super Chicken and Chick Fil A. Paying like 15 bucks. So let's see if it's ready. Yeah, it is hot in this building. It's hot. Hola, tengo un orden para Miles en Dordos. Miles T. Solo eso. Muchas gracias. This is a family special. Man, everything is getting smaller. Like the day, guys. Well, yeah. We'll see you guys in a few. Hey, guys. We're leaving the super chicken. As you saw, the, the family special looking real small. I guess everything is getting smaller nowadays. Um, but yeah, you know, I double checked with it. It was just the one bag. And uh, you know what I've noticed that's different this week or even last week? I don't have to take the pictures of the bags anymore. So I don't know if DoorDash is just rotating things and trying new things out. I hope they don't bring that back into my zone because that's just half the time I forget I got to do it. Then, then I realize once I'm getting in the car again or like in the front seat and I got to go back to the back seat. It's just a whole process. You know what I mean? But anyways, we're going to Chick-fil-A right now. Just picking up one grilled chicken sandwich meal um but yeah so this might even go up a little bit on that family special but i don't know the family special looking mighty small like i just said so i don't know hey check out this thing i saw on reddit no was it reddit or facebook where someone put a screenshot of the conversation and the lady goes oh it's supposed to be like a bacon cheeseburger whatever you know and showing showing the driver pictures of like the food uh, it's not what she ordered and then he just kind of goes, I just drive. <laughs> I don't make the food. It's hilarious. I mean, I'm sure he's still probably going to get a bad rating even though it's not his fault. But, uh, yeah, I mean, do, do customers really think that we out there making the food or we're going to look inside? That's crazy. Crazy.
crazy, I tell you. By the way, yesterday, Monday, we did a one little catering order, went home, got on the war zone with David, the Nola grind, and we were killing it. I mean, we got like, we got like two doves back to back overall. We got like four doves. Uh, it was great. It was great. I mean, we were, we were out there absolutely killing it yesterday. We were in the zone, literally in the zone. So hopefully maybe we'll get some, you know, a little bit of luck later on today. You know, we guess get, get in the war zone. I don't know. I don't know if he's going to play or not. I know he's getting ready for his trip, his challenge, you know, his road trip, literally. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I'm going home regardless because uh, I know it's going to be slow. So, yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys at the Chick-fil-A. Alrighty, guys. We're here at the Chick-fil-A. Look at this Dasher parking right here. I know he's a Dasher. I've seen this, man. Like, that's wild to me. I, I would never leave my car like this. Like, completely opposite direction, you know. But I get it. He's going to go in there, get the food, come back out. I get that. But there's also a parking spot right here. Literally right there. So. Anyways, hopefully this food, the food's ready. It's a pretty small order. It's only a grilled chicken sandwich meal with a large Diet Coke with light ice. Well, let me help this guy out right here. His hands are full. Yeah. You're welcome, huh? No problem. Yes, sir. No, I'm just picking up for Jess. 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 Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. so, let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. Homie went to the bathroom. He wasn't even waiting for an order. That's wild. I guess he must have really had to go. Because you can't go in Chipotle because you need a code. It's kind of whack over there. Let's get it. Okay, guys. We're leaving Chick-fil-A as you saw there. Now we're only five minutes away. 1.8 miles. But it's going to this terrible building. So I'm hoping this lady's code works. I have the time the code to give you at this building. I don't know if they got to update them or they switch them you know, every now and then. But every time they give me a code, it never works. I have to call them. I'm going to calm down. It's just gonna add more time. So anyway, it's already it's 12. It's 12. So we still gotta get the suit dropped off, get to the pot barely, get in the check, keep it going. But we can at least leave with a hundred bucks here in this top part of the shift. I'll take that. So that's the update for right now. Let's go. Okay guys, so we made it back here to the town center, gave them the check, got a earful from the security guy saying, Hey, you guys can't park here anymore. It's not me, it's the boss. He doesn't want any more delivery guys parking here. I just threw my hazards on because there's no parking. I just went inside to drop off the check. I said, hey man, no problem, I get it. You know, the boss telling you, yeah, that's fine, no problem. Um, he's always cool, you know, that guy. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, the town center would be, would, would be busier, booming, if they didn't charge for parking. It makes no sense they charge for parking. Like, it's not like it's some upscale property or something like that, you know, not even Tyson's. Actually, I don't think, I don't think, I think Tyson's could get away with it, but I think it'd be a lot of backlash, right? But anyway, so I, you know, drop off the check, they're super packed in there, I get back in the car, and my dash ended. I guess I only scheduled till 12.30, and now the map is gray. So the map is gray, so we can't even like dash now, which kind of sucks. So we're just gonna go ahead and home. Um, I think I might be able to dash along the way towards Fairfax. If we catch one order, that'd be great, you know, so. Yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. Thousand years later. Alrighty, guys, we're back outside. Current time is 5:23, and we got our first order of the afternoon shift from DoorDash from Potbelly. Uh, 6:25. We declined this order. Look, it says here that I missed two orders on Grubhub, and I'm like, yo, I'm still here, and I have I've only seen one order actually so far. So how how did I miss? Two. I think a screenshot of this order real quick if it lets me. Come on, this thing is jacked up. Okay, so I just accepted. Uh, I think it's a Savage Burrito, which basically means it's Uncle Julio's. Um, paying 10.26 for like four miles, but we're gonna get this one dropped off first. Now the lady says she's gonna meet me by the concierge. Even better. Um, quick little delivery here should not take very long. I'm not expecting it to move either. 
but yeah we went you know took a small break had some jersey mics and um you know got on the war zone for a little bit with david we did get a win not as good as yesterday but we still got a w so that was always that was cool that was cool anyways let me get this dropped off and we'll see you guys okay guys so we got the order dropped off the lady did come to meet me which was great uh ended up going up to 725 made our way to uncle julio's got the order picked up now traffic is a little bit heavy It'd be about 10 minutes here for the drop off no big deal but yeah man tuesdays we have the pie belly order man that'll be rough rough luckily though tomorrow we have another order from payway i've gone to payway three days straight so i feel like i'm in the good graces of payway with delivered um so that's cool so yeah and we also have a safety before that so tomorrow we have i, would, I think i want to say like 75 bucks in catering already which is great so we need we need that like every day to have good days so yeah that's the update for right now hopefully you guys are having a great start of your week technically mine starts today you know i kind of worked a little bit yesterday but mondays are typically just my chill day so yeah anyways we'll see you guys in a bit okay guys quick update it's 6 10 we got the order from grubhub dropped off and i think i forgot how much i was paying let me look at it here real quick now that we have a second so i was paying ten dollars and 26 cents and then we have 725 from the one on DoorDash. So we're over a hundred bucks, uh, but it's been slow. It's been slow, a lot of traffic, a lot of garbage stacked orders. So yeah, I think uh, DoorDash, at least in my market, I feel like I feel like it's in its last legs, you know what I mean? So definitely gotta venture out with the catering, other apps, something else, whatever. Um, so I still think the best model is a hybrid model. You do some other kind of work and then you do gig work and you put it together. But I think full-time gig work, man, I think it'd be tough, tough, tough for sure. At least in this market, I think it'd be real tough. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is my two cents for right now. We still have an hour and a half left of dash time. Can we get to at least 125? I would like to hope so, you know, but I don't know. It's not looking likely. We're chilling next to a total wine. I'm hoping to give me a total wine stack. Um, Cause that, I can, if I can do one of those, you know, the food's ready, the food, the, the drinks are ready, so it should be pretty quick. Um, but it's not looking like it. So yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. Let's go, guys. Guys, so we're trying a new angle here. We're so bored that we're messing with the mounts. Okay, we're getting nothing but trash. Actually, you know what? This one, ah, it's going so far. Twenty-two seventy-five for twenty miles. Man, that's just taking way too. It's just, it's just too far. I'm gonna go ahead and decline that one real quick getting one on Grubhub, but you know what? Before this, I hadn't been I hadn't been getting anything. Ooh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and take this. Two orders from Taco Socalo. No, it's one order, Taco Socalo. 2.6 miles for $16. So now we gotta go ahead and make a U-turn because Taco Socalo is the opposite direction. Um, but yeah, see, that's the thing with Grubhub. You take one order and they kind of feed you better ones, but it's just taking that initial Grubhub order that takes a long time, at least for me. We're gonna go make our way here to Taco Socala. Taco Socala, by the way, is not on DoorDash. Then one of the only restaurants, one of the few ones in my market that are not in the DoorDash app. I know they're also on Uber, but anyways. Man, I'm so glad. So you turn the camera on and you get an order. Blessed. <laughs> because I've been sitting there, 627, 630. I've been sitting there for a minute not doing anything uh, here on DoorDash, or just waiting in general, basically. But yeah, I think I kind of like this. I like this mount. I feel like it's a little bit higher, not as slow. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's not as close either. So I think I think it works. I think it's fine. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know about this um, this angle. But I like it. I like it. Anyways, we'll see you guys at Taco Socalo. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. Here we are at Taco Socalo. I don't think I've been here in a minute. Look at this, guys. Maybe you can see it on the back on the background. That's a lucid. That's like when you got like. FU money and you want an electric vehicle, you get yourself a lucid. Um, but yeah, let's see here if the order for Jessica is ready. Maybe. Maybe not. For Jessica? For Jessica? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, I know. Take care. Thank you. Sorry, excuse me. All right. Get the order picked up here. Oh, yeah, see, even she said it's been a long time. That's how long I haven't been here. Guys, so we're leaving the Taco Socalo right now. As you saw, even the girl was like, oh, it's been a while since you've been here, kind of. And I was like, yeah, it's been a minute since I've been there. Uh, now we're only five minutes away from this drop-off, so we need more orders like this. Come on, Grubhub, feed us, feed us. We need more orders like this. 
Um, but yeah, so other than that, I mean, it's 640, so we're basically down to a little under an hour, and we're trying to get to at least 125 bucks, which this $16 is gonna help, but it's still not gonna get us there. So we gotta, gotta step up our game. We gotta, we gotta step up our game, and hopefully we can make that money. Hopefully we get a banger, perhaps, on DoorDash. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see you guys. And Alrighty, if you guys, guys, we're doing the last drop off. After doing the last drop off there from Taco Socalo, we did not get anything else. Perfect. Um, it's been one of those relatively slow days. I think we made more money with Grubhub than we did with DoorDash, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see, let me see, I, I could be wrong. Okay, so we did here with Grubhub, it's taking forever to load. Um, and we're gonna go ahead, we're offline. We did $26.26, okay? And then on DoorDash, we did less than that. We did like 22, I think. Let me just take it forever to load also. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see here. And the map is gray, by the way, right now. Um, yeah, we did 22.25, 22.25. Uh, so not great, not great at all. I mean active time we're active less than an hour, so that's great, but overall time is terrible. Um, so then shout out to Pop Belly. Those forty dollars from Pop Belly came through clutch and then the thirty bucks there from delivered. So overall we're gonna finish around hundred and eighteen dollars with some change. So not even not even one twenty five. That's rough. That's a rough day, but tomorrow I think we're we're gonna be able to crush that. So you know Tuesdays tend to be slow. I'm glad we were able to fill them in, fill some of those slots in with catering. We went home, relaxed, got a double in the war zone, came back out. Overall, I really can't complain too much. We're making money with our phones. Is it as good as it used to be? Hell no. That the, the prime food delivery days in my area seem to be gone. Again, the tier system is not here yet. Uh, the earn by time is not here yet. The LOP just kind of up and banished one of these days. So right now we're just doing what we can, um, trying to make that money. But then it all depends. Like if I go to Arlington, if I stay there a long time, you know, or just focus on like the alcohol deliveries, you can make your money with that, this and that. But uh, I like to dash here because then the W2s around the corner, it's not too bad. But yeah, remember to like and subscribe. Get your boy up to 7,000 subs. I know we just hit 6,000, uh, but you know, we're almost at 7,000. We round up like 980 people. We're almost there. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Peace. Oh, by the way, let me know what you think about this angle. I kind of like it. I like it. So we'll see if we keep it. Peace.